Seoul and Washington ramp up their commitment to extended deterrence against North Korea, kicking off their first session of the nuclear consultative group here in Seoul. In line with that, an American nuclear submarine is making port in Busan for the first time in more than 40 years. Our top office correspondent Oh Soo-young reports. South Korea and the United States have launched a bilateral platform to take a unified nuclear response to North Korean threats, deemed an unprecedented step for Washington since the days of the Cold War. On Tuesday, Seoul's Deputy National Security Advisor Kim tae and his U.S. counterpart Kurt Campbell co-chaired the inaugural meeting of the Nuclear Consultative Group in Seoul. We discussed ways to jointly respond to North Korea's nuclear threats. We also decided to materialize nuclear and strategic planning and provide mechanisms and the architecture that can expand information sharing on nuclear and conventional forces. According to Kim, the first meeting focused on creating a secure dialogue channel and identified five main areas for continual discussion, including the Allies' joint planning and nuclear posture and how to operate Washington's nuclear assets with host non-nuclear assets together, deploying U.S. strategic assets to the South, along with crisis management and training nuclear experts in South Korea. The NCG was formed as part of President Yoon and Biden's Washington Declaration in April, after North Korea launched an unprecedented number of missile tests last year, and experts warned that a seventh nuclear test could be imminent. With recent public opinion surveys finding over 70 percent feel the need for South Korea to develop its own nuclear weapons, Seoul and Washington in April agreed to bolster their joint capabilities and confidence in executing the U.S. extended deterrence policy of defending allies who fall under conventional or nuclear attack. We have uh, not done anything like this since um, early periods in the Cold War, but it is a testament to several things. One, we understand the challenges here and how important it is to send a signal of commitment uh, and confidence. Uh, second, it is the nature of the strength of our alliance and partnership with South Korea. Both Kim and Campbell stressed that any nuclear attack by the North against the South will be met with a swift, overwhelming and decisive response, resulting in the end of the Kim Jong-un regime. Also, as security cooperation efforts with Japan continue, Campbell did not rule out the expansion of the NCG to other areas or countries, though emphasizing that the laser-sharp focus right now would be bilateral. On that note, Deputy Advisor Kim said that a trilateral summit with Japan is being arranged for August in Washington, D.C., with the agenda to cover regional and economic security, after which the NCG will convene a working-level meeting. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.